Yo, what's up guys? It's Severe. So today I'll be showing you guys the most popular effects to add on your Fortnite montage. Let's go. Alrighty, for the first effect, we're gonna do a screen pump. So let me make my adjustment layer right here. Now we have, I have my own screen pump setting. Screen pump right here. I click U and I'm gonna drag it over. So for my screen pump, I use regular transformer scale, camera lens blur, and a little bit of brightness. So I'll turn, I'll turn the brightness down make this about five again just because this i need to redo this preset i was kind of weird see how like this i need to drag it up now this is my screen pump it's super quick and to the point you don't want it to be you don't want it to be like super big or super long how it's super quick add a little bit of that in it, which everyone loves trust me it's very simple i can you can recreate it yourself all you really need to do is I, I, could, I could copy this over actually. Copy this over, reset it. And then have, see how right here it comes from 100, 150 to zero. I'm gonna drag this here, I'll do this. 150, zero, and then show you. You right click, keep from assistance, easy ease, go to your graph editor. Well, I meant to be 100. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then drag this over, select these two, drag them down to the end, and there's the screen pump. See? See, it's very easy. It's not hard to do. Alrighty, for our next effect is Twitch. Twitch kind of gives that like vertical shake, I would say. So we're gonna go on my severe Twitch effect, right here, drag it on, extend this over a bit, Okay, so mine goes from zero and 50 to 30 and 50 back down to zero. So I'll put it right here. As a little like blur type effect, which gives a little more shake onto it. Which a lot of people use that, or they use a shake, they do whatever they like. Alrighty, for our third effect, we're gonna use a shake. Which a shake is, is kind of like how I say it, it makes the screen shake a little bit. So we are going to put in my own shake that I made. Like I called it CSGO shake, so I was doing it while making a CSGO edit. So I'm gonna click you. So I need to redrag this stuff over because it's kind of messed up. All right, so for this effect, after it's being so slow, we have one shake, a directional blur, a twitch, and a flicker. Really, all you need to hear is the shake. You don't need this twitch or, or the flicker or any of that. This is what I have in my shake settings. These are my X shake settings. So I have it for the Y, and this is for the Z, and this is for the tilt. You can go pause it and see what it is. So what, how I have it is it comes at zero, the amplitude, moves up to 310, or point 310, then goes down to zero. Can you give that a little shake? A little shake. So let's play that right now. It helps a little bit with, even though you, you can make it more. And, and, it gets, and it gets stronger as you go on. That's boom. All right, for the other effect, we're going to have warp chroma. Now, as people will know, this is my, like, I spam warp chroma because I'm that bad at aging. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add warp chroma. This is the effect that I got claim myself because I use it a lot. I'll put my warp chroma around like 950. I'll keyframe it. Then the end of the clip, I'll put it at what? 0.999. So it's kind of still there, but not really. Then I'll right click and I'll easy use this so it's kind of like smoother. But sometimes I, I, I do do this. If I graph area, so I make it Say so do this, it comes in and it goes out slow. I'm gonna fast and goes out super slow to the end, which is not bad. Or sometimes I could do anytime like this. Comes in and slowly goes off, which which is good. But then it, see it ends earlier, so usually I'll bring it in like to like here. That's how it goes. So you, you can still see the warp chroma effect, but it's not as noticeable. So I'll probably lower this and make it better, make it bigger. 
And that is the Warp Chroma. Let me play it for you. Now, the Warp Chroma is that like, color-ish part. So even if I take all these effects off, right here, that's the Warp Chroma. And that outer color it gives, kind of, which is very good. Now onto our next effect, we have Glow. This is the effect that I love using with Warp Chroma. So I'll put my Glow under my Warp Chroma. So S underscore Glow, which is Sapphire the Glow. I go to here. I put on purple as always. I'll turn this down a little bit. Turn it to like 2.3. And then have it end kind of around like zero. Again, I'll e I easy use this too. So it's smoother. And have this have a look. So it's kind of like a, like a purplish, a, a purplish warp, like kind of like a purplish effect, I would say, that I add on it, which creates that effect that I use a lot. Even though you can make the warp chroma more, uh, or whatever you kind of really want to do, it doesn't matter that much. Now I'm going on to quad tone and glint. Now quad tone's a nice effect. It's different, but 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 not like your average effect. For example, here's a quad tone. Most people like Gazi, Exu, they like Aqua, they use this a lot. As you can tell, I have their presets, but it's see, they have their own custom ones. So I'll go here, and it's basically you can pick four colors to make to make a cool effect. So say I'm doing purple, right? I'll make, I, I literally, all I do is I'll, like, I'll change purple. Say for example, I'll make this one black. I'll change this one to blue. Maybe like this to purple. Of course, this looks so bad. So I, I do the mix with source and I put it around like, like maybe around like 60, 0.60. And then when it ends, I put it on one. And this is usually how it looks. It's your little color. Of course you can change it to whatever you like. Like people can do all red. I can't decide kind of how his is. You do so much with it. Like you can maybe put it out right here, and make it end super quick. Like a quick, a quick color effect. Like that, which is a very cool effect. I use it on a lot of my stuff, but you have, you have no idea. You have no idea. All right, guys, so now we're on the last effect, and this is the one and only glint. Now, I really like this effect. It's one of my favorites. I have my own preset for it too. It goes to weird glint, which it makes it really bright. So the brightness goes from zero to like one, which kind of makes the whole like screen super uh, colorful. Usually I'll drag these two in. So when this one ends, the color kind of like kind of ends there. So now I'm gonna play that for you guys with the quad jump. Now increase that, that little color that little color type stuff through the whole part of the video as you can tell. Which is super cool. It, it really makes for good effects on cinematics is really nice or anything like that. That is really a nice effect. Alright guys, to end the video, thank you guys for watching so much. Hopefully this helped you out with all these effects and stuff like that. I will link my pay up in the description if you guys would like to buy any of my presets project files and all that good stuff there's a lot of good stuff on there a couple of preset packs a starter pack project files cc's a lot of my stuff usually when i finish an edit i'll upload the project file and stuff like that to help you guys out and if this video reaches 50 likes i'll make part two and add a lot more effects and if somehow this blows up and we get like 200 likes 200 around 200 300 likes I'll do an in-depth tutorial on how I do my 3D text and showing you exactly how to do it. All the tips and tricks that I've learned from other editors helping me out. Shout out Nicko, he's a GOAT. He helped me out my 3D text and it's so good now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, share it, and peace out.